have starters. I am here joined by my, let's say boss, because this girl got some sass. <laughs> but anyways, I am here with my daughter, Leah. She wanted to join us for today's YouTube video. Yeah, yay! Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of go over numbers, hang out, because I haven't been on YouTube for a while. <laughs> Um, she was trying to let us know that we just have tons to talk about in this video. So, if you don't know, my name is Alexia. I am on Poshmark, uh, Macari, different selling websites like that. I am under Alexia's Closet 38 on most um, websites, pretty much all of them. Um, so, yeah, definitely <laughs> go check out my stuff if you'd like. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and talk about numbers, kind of get into... Uh, where I left off because at the end of December, <laughs> at the end of December, I just was not feeling um, the motivation. It definitely slowed down for me. Uh, maybe because of Christmas time, and that's totally okay because I enjoyed my family um, being over for Christmas and just hanging out with family, enjoying the kiddos. We had so much fun, didn't we? <laughs> um, we got lots of stuff for the kids. <laughs> yeah. And um, and so yeah, it um, it was definitely fun. Um, but now, kind of getting back into the New Year's, I have big plans for this year. I am definitely excited for just all that I have planned for this year. And yeah, we'll just kind of get started with uh, January numbers and go through what sold for me. We just trying to catch a good time, even if it takes all night. I lost my little assistant, but I will keep her chair going open because I'm sure she'll come back. <laughs> Starting off with sales, I don't know how it's been going with you guys, but definitely my January sales have been, I don't want to say very nice. I should say very consistent. Um, super happy, which I just love sales every day. I've been posting every day, trying to get through like a big mess of just donation stuff that I had. I definitely want to like shoot content of what I have and then once it's all gone and put away and listed I just want to kind of show you guys um, but I don't want to show you quite yet because I am <laughs> quite embarrassed at how much I have accumulated and how slow I'm moving um, but totally okay it's not always just reselling um, I definitely try to put as much time as I can into it but definitely not mad if I don't um, Kind of getting in though, just to first numbers. I had my first sale on the second um, for some Athleta leggings. They were for Athleta, Athleta Neon Yellow Ahoy Stride Stretchy Athleisure Workout Capri Leggings. Um, I sold these on eBay. Unfortunately, um, the buyer did request for a refund uh, a couple weeks after, so that's still kind of being processed. I Got them back yesterday in the mail, so I refunded the buyer. Everything was fine. Um, she just said that they were a little too see-through for her, which I should have probably put in the listing, um, but totally fine. It came back, um, and I am experimenting with eBay and doing refunds. I don't know how I feel about them. That was my very first refund that I've had to do, and it was not fun, obviously. Um, but again, I totally get why the buyer sent it back, and... Um, and yeah, I just have to kind of deal with that loss. Um, they sold once, they'll sell again. So hopefully with that in mind, I just kind of keep going from there. So um, I did sell them for $18. They came back, I refunded, so there was no loss there. Um, that same day on the second, I did make another uh, sale for some gray knit Arizona Wildcat shorts. They just pretty much had like the Arizona Wildcats logo on them. Um, I didn't hold on to those very long. They did come from like a consignment customer. So I sold those for $15 and after fees and everything, I ended up with a profit of $12 on those. Not too bad for something that was um, donated. Moving on, I have uh, Sew Me is the brand. It was called Sew Me Black Ruffle Suede Ankle Boots. Um, and these were actually really cute. I thought about keeping them for myself, but a lot of things that get donated to me um, that I like are either just uh, not my size or unfortunately, I just don't feel like I have a place to go out with them. I have kids, so we try at all costs to kind of avoid restaurants if possible. We just kind of like to dine in. Um, 
in our own house while the wildness goes on. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I had these posted up for probably about a year. <laughs> My camera person is just wiggling. Um, anyways, the So Me black ruffle boots, um, they sold for $18. The buyer accepted my offer on these. I honestly, since they were donated, I was trying not to keep them for so long. Um, they lasted maybe about a year in my closet, so a lot longer than I had hoped for. And I got a lot of attention on them. They just, uh, maybe I just wasn't sending out the right offer. I finally just uh, sent out $18 and the buyer accepted. After fees on that one, I ended up with $14.40 uh, since that was full profit for me. Following the next few days were pretty like silent for me. I didn't have my next sale until the 6th of January and that was for some Isabel maternity medium wash denim skinny jeans. Um, I kept these throughout both my pregnancies and then finally I just decided I'm not trying to have kids anytime soon so I should be done with them for now. Um, I listed these and they sold pretty quickly. <laughs> I sent out an offer. The buyer had counter offered me at $14, so I accepted $14. After fees and everything, I ended up with $11.05 for that one. Not too shabby. <laughs> um, the next day, I got two sales, and these were both fun sales. First, I promised a shout out, so woo woo! My lovely friend Haley that I met, um, let's say through YouTube, if that's possible, um, Haley reached out to me, said that she was on the same journey with me, um, kind of we were at the same level, and it just so happens as we're talking, our kids are about the same age, so we're kind of going through the same parenting things. Um, our oldest daughter, or our oldest one is a girl and the youngest is our boy, um, which is super fun to just kind of have all that in common. And we are basically like two peas in a pod. And then we joke that she lives all the way in Alaska, which she doesn't, um, but it feels like it. Um, we're always like, oh, I wish you were here so we can kind of go thrifting. Um, so virtual thrift trips, of course. I had to slow that one down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely adore her she went through my closet i guess and ended up um seeing these snowsuit um pants that she was interested in for her daughter and instead of asking <laughs> she paid full price oh, i already yelled at her um but i did end up with a very nice comment and i let Haley know i would shout her out so um my girl thank you so so much it was so nice to actually have like a order come through from a customer that I can personally say that I know. Um, so that was really nice um, and just fun to just, of course, see um, something kind of go for full sale even though it was donated. But thank you, thank you, thank you, Haley. <laughs> she had uh, purchased for her daughter these Faded Glory Girl Pink Leopard Print Chest High Long Snow Pants. Sold those for $16, she paid full price. After fees and everything, I end up I ended up with a profit of twelve dollars and eighty cents on that one. Um, again, thanks, girl. <laughs> um, the next sale that I had that very same day, um, which may be a case open, <laughs> um, we'll see. It hasn't um, yet been delivered. Uh, it was supposed to be delivered today, so we'll see how that goes, but it was for a Forever 21 black ruffle front spaghetti strap stretchy tank top. <sighs> this was my favorite, my favorite, favorite tank top. I don't know how many times I wore this. Um, it's been sitting in my closet and I finally decided, okay, it's time for it to go. I sent out an offer for this one. It was posted for $8. I sent an offer for $6 and I had somebody finally purchase it. The buyer then sent me a message just shortly after and said, oh, I apologize. Like I didn't mean to order this and blah, blah, blah. Um, somehow I got to the point where she said she was going to just let it cancel itself out because she didn't want to go through the whole process. And at that point I'm thinking, well, now I'm going to get in trouble. Like my account is going to be that I'm not sending things. So I messaged her, let her know. I'm trying to get this girl to like cancel her order, right? 
and that doesn't happen so i kind of just sent her a message and said hey if you're not going to cancel it i'm unfortunately going to have to send out this order and you'll have to do a refund from there and so she didn't respond i went ahead and i sent out her package the very next day um and then i get a message shortly after that um she asked i thought you weren't gonna send my item and so i explained to her that i tried reaching out and i was very polite she was very polite about it i haven't heard back after that so i don't know if she's gonna accept it if she's just gonna leave it alone i mean it was a six dollar sale that after fees and everything i even ended up with only three dollars and five cents so this is a case open i am going to lose my mind over three dollars <laughs> having to relist it and everything but i guess that's a part of the job and a part of like what happens unfortunately um i'm just hoping it doesn't come back and it just stays she just keeps the shirt we'll see i'll let you guys know in the next video moving on from there my next sale from there was the next day i um i sold the nike women's air max white Tia metallic silver with teal trim and those were the shoes that I showed you guys in my last video that I cleaned up uh, I posted them and they sold at, like within a couple days after I had listed they sold on offer up I did accept um, a customer's offer on them for $15 just because they were clean but they weren't like clean clean if you know what I mean <laughs> um, but I did I, I accepted $15 for this and because the buyer picked up I didn't have to pay any fees into this um, other than what I had already originally paid for these shoes so I ended up with a profit on this one of $13.59 um, which is a total win because I, I put in less than $2 on these shoes um, and unfortunately they weren't able to be cleaned as much as I wanted but I did the best I could. Next sale is one of my favorite. I don't know if you guys have success with Dansko clogs um, but I will almost, I want to say like 100% of the time pick up dance goes as long as they're for the right price at my local thrift shop I usually find them under eight dollars. I would say ten under ten dollars Which is really great because I have always sold them for more than thirty five dollars So for me, it's it's definitely a win um, on those and I don't mind paying a little bit up on them ten dollars is probably like my max that I, I like to spend on them, but I haven't come across them any more than that, so I haven't <laughs> passed that threshold of seeing if I would pay up for them. Um, I definitely know that they sell quickly, so Dan's goes. Definitely pick up. They sell most likely within like a week. Um, on these, I had them posted up for $40. I got an offer of $40 on Poshmark, and after fees and everything, I ended up with a profit of $26, and that's after fees, after everything I paid for. Um, so not too shabby, $26 for like a quick week flip, I would say. Um, I kind of even want to say it was less than that, but definitely a week. I feel like this time I'm kind of flying by this and I definitely feel like with the last couple of videos that I've had I kind of know where I'm going with these kind of just going with the flow and and yeah what are you doing over here girlfriend <laughs> we are working or doing something she's just entertained on this um listening but uh following that sale I had um a sale on Macari that Macari's kind of been really dead and I think I've said that in my last video but still very very small sales um totally not mad at it um but I did make a sale for a baby unisex bath towels and hand mitten bundle set I just had those little mittens um that I never really used for my son I maybe used like one or two pairs but they weren't for me um I definitely had those and I don't know about you guys but baby towels are not like the best so <laughs> So I definitely just use mine and the ones that we were given um, with baby shower and stuff like that. I definitely just included those in the bundle. So it was that along with the mittens um, that I had posted for $8. I received an offer for $6. So definitely something that I, I didn't mind. Um, I was going to throw it out, donate it anyways. So I ended up there after fees and everything with a profit of $4.73. Not bad for something that um, was just going to be thrown out. After that, I had another small sale for a Bozolo 
um, black ribbed crop basic short sleeve v-neck shirt um, and kind of funny <laughs> kind of funny I just want to laugh at like this username um, because it was a v-neck I thought it was just really funny and it said big boobs purchase <laughs> your black v-neck and it's like has out the description and I'm like thinking to myself wow what an odd name and then you like order a v-neck that shows off these big boobs that you say <laughs> that um that you claimed uh but anyways <clears throat> just thought that was kind of funny um that I saw that I sold this um black v-neck for ten dollars the buyer paid full price on this and after fees and everything I ended up with a profit of eight dollars and four cents for this one um, wasn't up for too long, so nice quick flip. The next one from there, I had Tommy Bahama jeans. Man, people will pay up for these. Or I don't know if it was just the jeans or just the person in general, but I had my first international sale. Super fun on eBay. I had this buyer reach out to me. Um, she said she wasn't able to purchase because I didn't have um, my store set up worldwide, so I had to go in, uh, make the adjustment, and with everything the jeans I did give her a little bit of a discount um so these Tommy Bahama jeans I sold for $22 um the buyer did pay for shipping the shipping to Canada was um $18 so in total she paid $40 after fees and everything um on these I ended up with a profit of $13.51 that was including what I paid for these which I believe I put in like five dollars into these Tommy Bahama jeans um not bad I did sit on them for a while so they weren't in the best condition I can't go off of um off of that but it's definitely a brand that I'll pick up again because the profit on that definitely wasn't bad Moving on from there, I have these Athleta Women's uh, Fastest Track 3 4th Zip Pullover Workout Sweater. Man, I had this for like a whole year and this month all my Athleta stuff is starting to um, like sell. So I'm kind of excited about that. Finally, I'm moving that. Um, just that brand in general. I thought maybe for a while I got to stop picking up <laughs> Athleta because it's not moving. But... I finally got this sweater out of my hands. Um, I made a sale for $23. The buyer um, counter offered my sale or my offer. Um, so with this one, after everything that I put into it, I ended up with a profit of $11.41 there. We are truly moving through this so fast. <laughs> um, next sale was um, these sandals that I had, um, new a tag. My daughter didn't ever wear these. They were these uh, Bebe. I don't know if I said that right, but the brand Bebe. Uh, baby infant gold slip-on leopard print sandals. And like I said, they were new tags. I had them posted for $16. Um, I had the buyer reach out and ask if I would take $12. I said yes. Um, so after fees and everything, I did end up with a profit of $9.95 there. The next sale i had the following day was on the 14th it was for a morona black long sleeve collared blazer i wasn't sure how well this was going to do um i know blazers are in style and it honestly didn't take long for this to sell once i had posted it it is a smaller brand so i had it posted for ten dollars and then i sent out an offer for eight dollars the buyer went ahead and accepted so i Ended up with a profit there of $5.05. Yes, baby. I know. We did it. High five. Oh, I got left hanging, so that's nice. All right. Last sale that I have um, was yesterday on the... I shouldn't say yesterday. Two days ago on the 15th, I had a sale for Athleta Gleam High Rise Black Fox Leather Leggings. Um... These I thought would move a lot faster. Unfortunately, they didn't for me. Um, and I honestly thought a couple days ago, I'm just gonna end up wearing these and finding like an outfit and using these. Um, I didn't get to because <laughs> they did sell. So I was excited about that. Um, and when I told Aaron about them, I told them that I sold these for $33. He's like, for leggings? <laughs> yes. Um, and I have another pair of these like fox um leather leggings so they're not any like big brand i'm 
gonna be excited to see how they move if it's like the leather in style right now or if it's just going to be like um kind of slow move but we'll see i got to the fun part where we get to go over all of the numbers that i threw out at you um so kind of finishing off from the first through the 15th um across all platforms i made a gross sale of 200 dollars and 56 cents um, after fees and everything that I paid for all of these items, I made a profit um, of $165.99. Um, really, 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 really great. I know that's probably not um, like where I should be, uh, but based off of like everything that I put in this month, and I'm continuing to do, continuing to run numbers, um, run sales, just kind of get every, all the old stuff out of my closet. I'm definitely working this month to try and um, just get that out as well as putting together a schedule. Um, I was very, very grateful. So along with um, the shout I had for Haley, I have another shout out for my sister and my parents, my goodness. For Christmas, they gifted me um, my car back, so they fixed it up. They handed it back to me with the keys, and my goodness, I can't explain the amount of freedom that I feel like I have throughout the day, going to the post office, hitting up some thrift shops, um, taking the kids out to the park. It just, my goodness, I am just so joyful to have, um, to have my car back and to be able to just do the things that I need to do throughout the day. One car was definitely not fun um, for the time being, but super excited. I'm trying to regularly make thrift trips. Um, I'm trying for every other day, but like I said, with the amount of stuff that I had donated, it's just a crazy amount of stuff I have, a crazy amount of stuff I need to get through to just push and, and um, like get rid of all of it. But I have fun stuff planned for this week. Um, you made it through the whole video and thanks for watching. I'm hoping to kind of do like a vlog. Hopefully I can do a couple thrift trips. The only problem is I have the two kids with me throughout the day and it gets crazy at the thrift store. It's usually like a get in, get out. Who knows how long I have as soon as the babies cry. It's like time's up, hands up gotta just leave with what i have make quick decisions at the checkout so that's been going fun for me um i do have to think about a couple other videos but let me know what you guys want to see like give me some ideas um i'm definitely down to just kind of experiment with these videos and just do some fun stuff with you guys <laughs> um anyways thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button i would love to see you guys for the next video that i have bye